Hello, I'm Andy Howell and welcome to this series of video tutorials that are designed to help those of you who are planning to tackle the TGO challenge for the first time. Now, as I speak, entries have just closed. I know we have a bumper uh, crop of entrants this year, many of you first timers. Uh, and so these videos, uh, they'll be reasonably concise, uh, but they're designed to help you think about the best starting point how to construct a route as you walk up to Scotland uh, and explain a little bit about that. We'll also be looking uh, a little bit at how we can plan uh, to support navigation uh, when we're walking. Uh, and so uh, even if you uh, tackle Scotland mainly by walking uh, uh, old ancient trails, there will be some periods when you're crossing open uh, land. And so we'll have a look at... Uh, how we can best prepare for that. Now, the TGO Challenge is a, a, a fantastic event. I suppose if I was being cheesy about the introduction, I would have done this out on a hill. But this is where I plan uh, my crossings. Uh, and I've got a series of things with me to help me. I've got a series of maps. There's still a place for good old paper map in the digital age. Digital age. Um, the great thing about maps, of course, is when you're planning, you can open them up and you've got a really big portion of the landscape to work with so you can see routes and alternatives in a way that you can't do even on a big digital screen like this. So I've uh, got my maps. I've got some other guidebooks. Uh, this one is uh, Chris Townsend's. It's like encyclopedic, encyclopedic even, uh, Guide to Scotland, which is really helpful. And of course we've got the computer, so I've got my maps on there uh, and I've got uh, access to the challenge notice board uh, and to an increasing database of uh, trail journals that have been produced by people uh, who've walked across Scotland. And, uh, you know, you've got a range of journals that look at different starting points, different routes, and so on. So what I intend to do with this is to create, create a series of reasonably shortish uh, uh, entries. Uh, most of them are going to be uh, focused on um, the computer mapping on the computer screen. On my website, I've got a lot of resources that we will we'll refer to as well for planning, but I thought it was about time we entered the multimedia age, and uh, now with modern software, uh, we, can, uh, we can use computer mapping to demonstrate a lot of things. So if you are planning the challenge for the first time, this might be a good starting point. Now, if you're a very experienced hill walker in Scotland, a lot of this might be a bit basic, but I know a lot of people do the challenge uh, when maybe the children have left home or maybe they early retire. Uh, I know a lot of you are now looking to come over from the United States and beyond, uh, and we pride ourselves on uh, welcoming international entrants. Uh, and I know that those of you, particularly from the USA, uh, one of the attractions of the trail is off-trail walking. So it's that walking across featureless, la featureless land. So we'll be looking at... Uh, things we can do in preparation to help us navigate when we're on the ground as well. So uh, a series of videos. Um, they probably won't all go up at once, but I'll try and get them up pretty quickly. So follow the blog, follow the YouTube channel uh, for notifications of new tutorials. I'm going to try and keep them to about 10 minutes or so, though we may go a little over at, uh, at some points. Um, if there's a subject I haven't covered, that you think it will be useful to talk about, then uh, please um, let me know, drop me uh, an email, uh, or put a comment in the video uh, YouTube video blog. And uh, maybe also uh, in a month or two's time, we might even have a look at a, a kind of um, live video Google Hangout thing so people can uh, come and put their questions in. And maybe I'll try and find... a a couple of other experienced challengers who can uh, who can help you along your way as well. So it's probably about time we explore the potential of this new media. So the TGO Challenge is a great event. Uh, no matter what your experience, you know, whether you're young and fit or whether you're just getting a bit of an old codger like me, uh, but you love walking, you love the outdoors, the TGO Challenge is a great experience. The Scottish Highlands are a fantastic place. So uh, let's see if we can help. Uh, and settle down. And in the first video, I'm just simply going to have a little look at really how Scotland works. So stay with me. <laughs> 